This is Ian from Lean Media. Today I'm going to show you how to remove a book from sale on Apple Books if you're publishing through iTunes Connect, which is Apple's platform for publishers to publish ebooks on Apple Books so you can read them on your iPhone or on your iPad or whatever. So this is assuming you have an iTunes Connect account and you've uploaded your books there and now you want to return it. And unfortunately, Apple does not make it easy to remove books from sale. It's kind of a work, it's kind of a uh, labor intensive process and I'll show you how it works. So you can see here are the books that I've published through iTunes Connect. Down here you can see that there's actually uh, two editions of the same book. I think this is the second edition, this is the third edition, and you can see the second edition is not available on 51 stores. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna take a book that we're going to be replacing with a new edition and basically make it not available. So the book is called C Diff in 30 Minutes, and you can see it shows up when I start to uh, type into the title. So this is the best way to find the book if you don't see it right here. So then you put the title in there, click search. And I have to say, Apple's software for managing this, it's really kind of old-fashioned. I don't think it's designed very well. I think it was designed by people who are not really... Um, kind of into web software for ordinary users. So it's a uh, more of like an engineering type of, of software rather than something that, you know, mere, <laughs> mere mortal humans can use. So here is the book and let's get rid of it. You'll see there's no way to just click something to remove it from sale. And this is very different actually than other ebook publishing platforms such as Kobo and I believe Amazon, which makes it pretty easy to take something off sale for Apple books, you have to go to the rights and pricing. So press that button and you'll be brought to this particular table of like 50 different countries and the pricing. Um, basically what I'm going to do is just remove it from sale everywhere. I'm not going to remove it from just one one site and keep it running on another. But base, So what you need to do is click on edit countries, regions, and pricing. And then you'll be brought to this particular screen. Okay, so it says apply to existing countries or regions. Select one or more countries or regions which you want to apply these changes. So first of all, select all. And then go for cleared for sale. Change that to no. Because right now you can say cleared for sale. There's a check mark, which means yes, you can buy it we want it to change to no. So this means it will be removed from sale after I put that through. Um, there's nothing else you really need to do. Just make sure everything's checked off and then click continue. So you can see that cleared for sale, it's no longer checked. Then click confirm at the bottom And then it says your changes have been saved. And importantly, for status, it says not on store. And this is exactly what we want. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to check the link because I think I had the old, here is the old link. Let's see what happens when I load the link into Safari. Okay, so it shows this is the book, and then it says View in Apple Books. So actually, it looks like I can... S well, it looks like it's still there, but I don't think it's going to be there for much longer. But come back and check it just to be sure. And in the meantime, it's not on store. It shouldn't be available. And I think that's it. Click Done. It says not on 51 stores. That's what we're looking for. For more information on how to get the most out of publishing, selling on Amazon, selling on your own website, go to leanmedia.org, click on blog or video. I have all kinds of free resources that you can use to basically make a better publishing business, make a better 
selling business online. I've been doing this for many, many years, and I just try to help people out uh, with the questions that they have and just show them how to do things because, frankly, a lot of this software is kind of complicated. This is Ian signing off. Thank you so much for watching.